Every parent of an Eagle Scout knows how much time and effort is put into a good Eagle Scout project. It takes determination and hard work by lots of people to complete the tasks required. So with that in mind, we knew you would be inspired by the story of a young man who not only took the lead on his Eagle Scout project, but did it at a time when everybody thought he should be focused on himself. Darren Adams shares this story. Recently in South Jordan, this was a scene that was replayed more than a few times. So we're collecting supplies for the road home. James Aldridge was working on his Eagle Scout project. Oh, and you got blankets and everything. James was completing his 11th hour project and was up against a timeline to finish before he turned 18. <laughs> we got some sweatshirt for some warm clothing. But the reason for James's delay isn't what you think. In September of 2011, James's family got a call to come talk to their doctor. We three were sitting in the examining room and the assistant came in and said that the doctor needed to speak to us. And it didn't look too good. The diagnosis, James had cancer. It was like being hit in the stomach. I was only in the hospital for like a week, but I was like in bed for like the next maybe two months. <laughs> Your muscles just ache, you feel tired, like unbelievably tired all the time. And you don't even do anything, just sitting there being awake is enough to tire you. He had surgery and then a few months later doctors discovered the cancer had grown back in his abdomen this time. More aggressive chemotherapy and then surgery again. People hear about cancer and like, oh, that sucks, I feel sorry for you. And then there's people in your family and they get to see firsthand what it does to people. And then when you have it, you know, there's not a whole lot of hope for you because you know that it does kill you. So when any normal person would be focused on themselves and what others can do to help, James did the exact opposite. If you have the chance to or the ability to help others, you should be able to do it. There's no good excuse why you can't. James certainly had a good excuse. He's not even cleared to lift weights and isn't up to full strength, but when he saw the needs that others had, he forgot about himself. When he went down to the road home, um, he came back a different young man. He knew he had to help others, and so the project began. At first, he, we were thinking, well, why don't you just do our neighborhood, because there's a lot of houses. And he said, no, they need a lot of help. And they got a lot of help. The neighborhood project grew and grew. Soon other scout troops were involved. It went zone wide. The 10 or 20 bags of donations grew to 40, then 50, and more. Soon there were more than 100 bags that packed into cars and trailers and trucks. Well, it is definitely a larger than normal project. But part of the point of Eagle Scout projects is to help people like James realize the impact they can have. I think it teaches them that they can, in, in a, a very simple way, have a very large impact um, on people in our community who otherwise couldn't provide for themselves. And during a time when most people focus on themselves, he looked outward. When many feel self-pity, James felt generosity. He just goes forth and he does what he needs to do and he gets over it and he's, um, he's strong. He's a strong young man. That's great. And with a lot of hard work and determination, James completed his project before he turned 18. Doctors say his prognosis is great. They're confident they removed all the cancer, so that's really good news.